What is up guys? This is Ryan Suits 18 on the Ryan Suits 18 Forever channel. And right now what I'm gonna be doing is my WWE Raw review for uh tonight's edition of Raw Super Show, January 9th, 2012. Um overall this Raw was actually uh pretty good. Um not one of the greatest Raws, but still it was alright. Um at the beginning of the show we have Kane coming out addressing John Cena and us as in the fans saying that that we hate our spouses, we hate our bosses, we hate life itself, we hate our children. Um and uh goes back to John Cena saying that he's continuing to push John Cena to embrace the hate instead of rising above it. Um and then uh, John Cena comes out and interrupts Kane, and then just uh, they start brawling and they end up in the back. And uh, they, as you can tell by the photo, they end up uh, outside by the trailers. And uh, Kane uh, pushes Cena into a bunch of boxes. Uh, Cena grabs a, a tire iron and and hits Kane in the leg. And then uh, Kane would push Cena again into the boxes, and then Kane would disappear. Then um, we would have Sheamus versus Sant and, and Santino Morella versus Wade Barrett and Jane Mahal. Overall, it was a pretty good match. Uh, Santino would hit hit the Cobra and uh, secure the victory for Sheamus and Santino. Um, then we have uh, Kane uh, stalking Zack Ryder um, after he was done talking to Eve about asking her to go out with him. Um, after her match with Beth Phoenix later on in the night. And then there's more uh, stalkings by Kane while Ryder's brushing his teeth in the bathroom. Uh, Kane is right behind. Basically, I think Kane is trying to act like The Undertaker in a sense, like stalking his prey or stalking, you know, people. Um, but anyway, then a commercial would be cut and then we would get back to Raw and we are announced that the second inductee in the, the, in the into the WWE Hall of Fame, excuse me, um, the man himself, the ultimate opportunist, the rated R superstar, Edge, it will be inducted into the 2012 WWE Hall of Fame. Um, I I can guarantee you, Christian and and other superstars will induct Edge into the Hall of Fame. But, uh, yeah, so congratulations to Edge. You deserve it. I know not at this time, but you are one of the greatest superstars in this industry. And uh, it's sad that, that your wrestling career was cut short by an injury. So, um, you know, I can't wait to see Edge in the, <laughs> to see Edge again uh, the night before WrestleMania. So, uh, again, kudos to Edge. Then uh, we would have his World Heavyweight Champion Daniel Bryan versus... One half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, Kofi Kingston. Um, this was a good match uh, for Daniel Bryan. Surprisingly that he's still World Heavyweight Champion. Um, I thought that he was going to lose last Friday against the Big Show. But uh, uh, Daniel Bryan would defeat Kofi Kingston with a LaBelle lock. And uh, the Big Show would have a word with the champion saying that... Uh, that... Uh, Daniel Bryan would offer Big Show another opportunity for the world title at any time. And uh, the Big Show said uh, said that uh, uh, SmackDown GM Teddy Long and Big Show agree uh, to one more opportunity for Big Show to go against Daniel Bryan. But it's going to be this Friday, um, Friday Night SmackDown, a no disqualification, no count out, world heavyweight title rematch on SmackDown. Then... We would have the surprising return of Kurt Hawk, um, of Brodus Clay, and uh, very odd, uh, odd to see Brodus Clay, but uh, he was flanked. He was flanked by uh, g gorgeous uh, dancers and had the Funkies on a, on a roll uh, theme song. Um, he would come out to that, and uh, he would basically dominate Kurt Hawk into the match. And uh, one, two, three, you know, Brodus Clay. Victorious on his debut. Then we have is uh, the WWE Champion CM Punk versus Jack Swagger. Before the match, uh, the interim Raw General Manager John Laurinaitis, or the Executive Vice President of Town Relations, comes out saying that if Punk wins, 
Biggie Guerrero and Jack Swagger will be banned from ringside at Royal Rumble, where John Laurinaitis will be the special guest referee against Punk and and Dolph Ziggler. So uh, CM Punk would hit uh, Macho Man Randy Savage's uh, you know classic elbow drop from the top rope, and uh, that would be the end of that match. Um, then we have a uh, commercial would go, and then uh, we would have the four horsemen being inducted into the Hall of Fame. The third person, or the third inductees into the Hall of Fame of 2012. Um, one of the greatest tag teams. They spanned from NWA, AWA, and WCW. Um, they have had numerous, uh, numerous uh, members over the course of those years, and uh, just a great tag team. Can't wait to see them. I don't know if Ric Flair is going to be there, but. I mean, he's already been inducted, but still, it would be nice to see Ric Flair there, but we'll see. Um, then we have uh, The Miz asking everyone to help, uh, you know, distract our truth that we Miz can give a beatdown on him, and uh, he would tell Ricardo Rodriguez to call out our truth for allowing Miz to attack. So, um, basically, uh, Ricardo Rodriguez saying that your mother's ugly and... And your breath stinks and all that stuff. So R-Truth comes out saying, uh, Hola, oh, hola, Ricardo Rodriguez. And saying, uh, saying uh, that uh, Ricardo should sing La Cucaracha. And um, Ricardo uh, sings La Cucaracha, you know, and he's like, it does a remix and all that stuff. Um, then uh, Ricardo Rodriguez would slap... Uh, R-Truth's hand after uh, R-Truth said to sing the La Cucaracha again, but um, but uh, but uh, he would get hit with uh, the R-Truth's finishing move. Um, then we have is Chris Jericho addressing the WWE Universe. Um, again, he returned. He was he was chanted by the fans, screaming Y2J, Y2J. And, um, he, he, uh, you know, did his high fives like last week and then got into the ring, grabbed the mic, but didn't talk. He started to cry and then cry and then left, left the arena like he did last year. I don't know, I mean last year, I mean <laughs> last week, excuse me. Um, but, uh, well, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what Jericho's trying to do. I know he's trying to just lure us into liking him again, even though he'll probably stab all of us in the back, but, uh, yeah, so Chris Jericho, uh, not really addressing the WWE Universe again, so, uh, let me know what you guys think about that, um, then we have his Divas Champion Beth Phoenix versus Eve, but it did not happen because, uh, before, uh, the Glamazon's entrance, uh, uh, started, uh, Kane's, uh, theme song played, and Eve, uh, was panicked, and, uh, Zack Ryder and her ran out to try to try to help to to get I guess leave the arena that way they can go on their date and uh and uh so they ran to Ryder's car but was suspiciously had a, a flat tire probably by Kane um then we have is uh John Cena versus um Dolph Ziggler um pretty good match um it would be cut short due to uh uh, Kane attacking Zack Ryder in the back and then choke slamming him onto um, uh, planted boards that you see in the picture uh, behind Kane. Um, then uh, Cena would come and then but would get choked out by uh, by Kane again by the glove. So uh, yeah, that basically wraps up Raw. So uh, let me know what you guys think. You guys comment below. You guys let me know what you think about Raw. And uh, yeah, I'm basically done with this video guys so let me know what you guys think about raw again um what do you think is going to happen next week will jericho talk finally um what will happen with kane and cena next and uh yeah i'm out for this video guys so uh peace